John? Yes, uh, following up on Iran, I mean, when you have the, the supreme leader using such inflammatory language, uh, calling uh, the America's closest ally in the region the rabid dog of the region, I'm a little surprised to see the kind of muted response uh, from the administration. Is the White House concerned that coming out and condemning those comments uh, would disrupt these, uh, the, the, the emerging deal in Geneva? Well, soft pedaling, in other words, uh, so that uh, absolutely, absolutely not. I think that our position, uh, in terms of our support for uh, Israel's security, uh, is clear. I think the president has a very strong record of that, and that's, in fact, that is something that uh, the Iranian regime, I think, has complained about in the past. So there is no doubting the strength uh, of our support for the nation of Israel and for our commitment to the nation of Israel's security. So uh, there should be no mistaking that. Uh, in fact, it is our view that you know pursuing this diplomatic opportunity. Uh, would have significant benefits for Israel's security. So uh, that is something, that is a view that's shared by uh, our allies who are engaged in these talks, and that's why we're pursuing them. Why not just come out and condemn this? These are pretty outrageous comments, aren't they? Well, I, you know, I, I, as I pointed out, I think our position on this is uh, crystal clear, and I don't think there's anybody that has any doubt about that. Okay, and then just a quick follow-up on the, on the nuclear option. Um, 